Good morning, my friends. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. I came to a part of a story that I just felt like you and I can relate to. And after I tell you about it, you're going to say yes, because in Judges chapter 6, when I got there and we talked about, you know, the children of Israel were crying out unto the Lord because of the enemy that had come in. And it said, and the enemy was like grasshoppers for multitude. And then their camels were without number. I felt like, yes, sometimes we feel like the enemy has come in like a flood. But in Isaiah, it says, when the enemy comes in like a flood, the Lord will put up a standard against it. It's Isaiah 59, 19. And it says, yes, it says, so shall they fear the name of the Lord from the west and his glory from the rising of the sun. When the enemy shall come in like a flood, the spirit of the Lord shall lift up a standard against him. So the Lord is going to come and put up a standard against the enemy. But when I got down to where it said, after they cried unto the Lord, there came an angel, verse 11. An angel of the Lord sat under an oak, which was in Ophrah, that pertained unto Joash, the Abiezrite, and his son Gideon. And Gideon was thrashing wheat in the winepress to hide it from the Midianites. He was hiding what he was doing because he was afraid the Midianites were going to come. The enemy was going to come and steal everything he had done. He was hiding and the angel of the Lord sits there, watches him for a while and then appears to him and says unto him, the Lord is with you, you mighty man of the Lord. When I looked up that word, it says man of courage. He was hiding, but the Lord saw him as a man of courage. And the angel of the Lord said, the Lord is with you, an angel that was speaking truth over Gideon's life. And today the truth is the Lord is with us. Yes, and the Lord sees us as men of courage that we need to go and get a standard as the Lord puts a standard against the enemy. We need to fight the enemy with our faith, with the sword of the spirit, putting up the shield of faith. And then this is what Gideon said, and I saw myself in this. He said, why then, if the Lord is with us, if, why then all these things have befallen us? If the Lord is with us, why then all these things? Because there are situations in our lives where we say, if the Lord is with me, why then am I walking through this very difficult situation? If the Lord is with me, why is this happening? If the Lord is here in this situation, why is he not doing this? So we ask the if and the why, if and the why. And I found such an incredible answer to some of these questions we are asking. And it's in chapter 8 of Romans. And it says, yes, Romans 8, 28 says, We know that all these things will work together for good to them that love God. All these things will, they are working together. There's no change in God's word. And those who love God to them who are the called according to his purpose. And then when I went to chapter 8, verse 31, what shall we then say to these things? If God be for us, who can be against us? He that spared not his own son, but delivered up him for us all. How shall he not with him also freely give us all things? And then it says, verse 34, who is he that condemneth? Verse 35, who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall tribulation? distress, persecution, famine, nakedness, peril, or sword, as it is written, for thy sake we are killed all the day long. We are accounted as sheep for the slaughter. No, verse 37, no, in all these things you are more than conquerors, 
through him who loved us. We are more than conquerors. Even if you don't see it, go to the word of God, read it. If you love the Lord, you are walking in his ways. You are seeking his face. You are reading his word. You are staying in his word, meditating on his word. Then know that God is for you who can be against you. Even when he did not spare his own son for us, he loved us so much. So today, who shall separate us from the love of Christ? None of these things. None of these things. Because it says we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. Lord bless you today.